the type of their question. Okay, that should have been equal sign. Now, you have a ratio. You have a ratio. Is it greater than or equal to zero? So this is the stuff. So in one instance, you need to be equal to zero. In another instance, you need to be greater than zero. Agree? When would a fraction become zero? When the numerator becomes zero, correct? When the numerator becomes zero. No, 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 no. Denominator should never be five. Yeah, because in the denominator five, the fraction becomes what? Undefined, correct? Okay. So that means your x can be negative two. Agree? Your x can be negative two. Okay. So, okay. So I'm covered there. So I'm also covered there. I'm also covered there. Now, when would a fraction, so for, from this one, I can say x can be negative two, correct? When would a fraction is greater than zero? When both are negative or both are positive, correct? Only then the fraction becomes positive, correct? Now, if you ask, see if you can eliminate answer choice sum. Can an answer be, can an answer be six? That way you can eliminate the answer choice B. Can X be six? What if I substitute six, what do I get? Eight over, sorry, eight over one, right? Isn't that a positive? So that means X can be six. So this is wrong, correct? Can X be five? No. So that means here he's not talking about X equals negative two. So this is also gone, correct? So between these two now, this and this. Now he's saying, okay, now, He's saying X is greater than negative two. Can I pick a value that is greater than negative two? Can I pick negative one? Okay. If I pick negative one, what is negative one plus two? And then negative one minus five? Is that a, a positive? No, that means X cannot be greater than negative two, it has to be less than negative two. That's your answer. Got it?